Hello AWS friends. And welcome to this hands-on lesson, where we're going to create a Lambda pipeline with CloudFormation deployment. So it's going to be a three-stage pipeline. The first stage, the source is going to be code commit. We need a code commit repository first. The build stage is going to be code build, and we already have created some code build projects. The deployment stage is going to be done by CloudFormation. This is going to be really interesting, and I guess you're going to have fun with this pipeline. Here are the steps we're going to need to create this pipeline. First, we're going to create a CloudFormation role. Next, we're going to create the pipeline itself. First, select the source. Next, create the build project inside this process and select and define the deployment, which is going to be CloudFormation. Last, after the creation of the pipeline, we're going to add an action group to our deployment stage. Our Lambda project, to which we are going to commit to code commit, will contain three files, a simple JavaScript function, the index.js, a build spec YAML, which is going to be needed for our code build project, and the template YAML, which is going to be the template for our cloud formation. As usual, you find all files and resources you're going to need to create this pipeline in GitHub. And you're going to find the links to GitHub and these resources in the resources section of this lesson. Now let's create our CloudFormation role. We're going to need this role for our deployment stage with CloudFormation. I'm going to say create role and select CloudFormation as trusted entity and next permissions. Here we're going to add AWS Lambda execution. Lambda execute. We're not going to need any tags. And now we can enter a name. Lambda pipeline cloud formation role and finally create this role. Let's have a look on our role. We need to do one more thing. We need to add a inline policy and you find the JSON for this policy in the resources, in GitHub. You can just copy this, enter in here review policy, enter a name, um, let's call it same, pipeline CF policy, create policy, and now we are done with our role. With this role we are now prepared to create our pipeline. So we can switch to code pipeline, pipelines, and we need to click create pipeline. But first let's have a look in our simple Lambda project. These are the three files we're going to need. The first is the index.js, a simple JavaScript Lambda function, which is gonna return the time of Los Angeles. In the build spec YAML, we're going to define Node.js as the runtime version, install the time module. Next, we are defining the variable bucket. You have to change this to your S3 bucket, of course. And the last command package the local artifacts that your AWS CloudFormation template references. The artifact type is zip and we have defined two output files. The template YAML is a CloudFormation template and we're going to define a serverless function and also a API with one get method to call our Lambda function that will return the time. Once you have adapted the code build YAML, create a new code commit repository and push these files to your repo. Then we are ready to create our pipeline. 
We're going to click Create Pipeline. We're going to give our pipeline a name. This is the Lambda Pipeline. We're going to create a new service role for our pipeline. We can keep this name. Advanced setting. I'm going to select my S3 bucket. In my region. And that's it for the beginning. And we're going to say next. Now we can choose the source provider and this is code commit again. We select code commit. Next we can select our repository, which is Lambda Pipeline. Our branch is master. And we're going to keep CloudWatch events as change detection. We're going to select code build as build provider. And this time we're going to create our code build project on the fly. In previous lessons, we used to create the project in advance. Now let's do this in this process here. There's a new window opening and we can edit our code build project inside this new window. First, let's enter a name. Lambda pipeline built for our build project. We're going to use a managed image. The operation system is Ubuntu. The runtime is standard. The image is 2.0. We're going to create a new service role. And we're going to use a build spec file. It's this default naming, so we don't have to enter the name. We're going to use CloudWatch and then we're going to say continue to code pipeline. The project is going to be created. It's going to take some seconds. And now it was successfully created and we can continue. Now let's create our deployment stage. Our deployment provider this time is going to be CloudFormation. In my case, the region is Frankfurt. And the action mode is going to create or replace a change set. You find these settings also in a file in the resources sections of this lesson. And now the stack name, in my case, it's the name of my pipeline with stack. Of course, you can use different names if you named your pipeline different. My change set is pipeline name with change set. These are the CloudFormation stacks which are going to be created in this deployment stage. Then you know these output temple YAML from our build YAML in our Lambda project. The file name is output template YAML. Then we have to add these capabilities to create or edit IAM and finally our role is this role we used to create at the very beginning of this lesson lambda pipeline cloud formation role and then we can say next this is the review for our whole pipeline source build and deploy stage and now let's see if our pipeline will be created successfully. Again, this is going to take some seconds.
But as you can see, congratulations, the pipeline Lambda pipeline has been created and it's going to start immediately. As you can see, our code commit, our first stage is in progress. It succeeded. Now it will continue with the build stage. The build is going to fail this in advance. We're going to see that the auto generated service roles of code build are not always perfect. We will need to add a S3 full access policy to our service role. The build failed as already mentioned. And now let's see to IM. This is our service role for the build. And I'm going to add S3 full access to this service role. It was added and now we can retry our pipeline. Let's say release change. And our pipeline is going to run again. And let's have a look if our build is going to succeed this time. So source already succeeded. Now the build is running. Our little change used to help and now the final stage, the deploy stage is in progress. It's going to take a second and I'm going to pause for a minute and let's be back when the deploy stage is finished. And now the deployment stage also succeeded. Our whole pipeline ran successfully. Let's have a look to CloudFormation. We have a Lambda pipeline stack here, review in progress. It did not yet run and we have to make a little change to our pipeline until everything is going to be deployed and running on AWS. We have to edit our pipeline a little bit. Our last stage. So edit this last stage and we're going to add an action group. You can find these informations here in the resources section. So the action name is to execute the change set. The action provider, as you can see, is CloudFormation. And the input artifact is the build artifact. The action mode is execute a change set. Stack name is our stack name from above and the change set we can already select our output file name it's going to be empty and we're going to say save and run our pipeline again It's running. Let's be back in a minute when the whole pipeline succeeded. Success. The pipeline succeeded. And also the last stage, the deployment stage. Let's have a look at what was created. So we have our Lambda pipeline stack in CloudFormation and this time it was created complete. And this means we have a new Lambda function here. This is our Lambda function, which was created by CloudFormation. It's loading and meanwhile, we can have a look to API Gateway, which was also created by CloudFormation. It has only one method get the time and we can 
test this in our stages in our prod or stage and let's just open this URL and as you can see our lambda function is working so pretty cool our pipeline created a serverless function and includes a api gateway with cloud formation and now let's verify a very last thing let's see if the change detection also works so we're going to add our javascript file i'm going to say hello cloud gurus the time in los angeles is going to push this to code commit and now our pipeline should be triggered in a second let's have a look it's in progress i'll be back in a minute when it's finished the pipeline succeeded and now let's verify our change was also deployed and published and here yes you can see this time it says hello cloud gurus so this was quite fun creating this pipeline and we used to create a lambda function including a api gateway method with quite some files so thanks for listening and see you on the next lesson